<laughs> Fingers <laughs> crossed it doesn't blow my head off. Okay. It's not so bad. Wait a minute. Yep. <laughs> it's coming. Oh, it's really hot. <laughs> Yes guys, Scram Review, it's back and we are back with a bang. So today we're down at First Street, home to Bunny Jackson's, home to Junkyard Golf, home to Home Cinema, and of course Woods, which is where we're visiting today. So come on, let's go and have a look. So Simon, why tacos? Um, I really enjoy them. Um, it's something I think we can we can fire out quite quickly. We can add a little bit of process and put our wood spin on it, mm -hmm. uh, and, and it's fun. And who doesn't like tacos and tequila? Exactly, exactly. I love tacos. Anything Mexican, it just gives me a happy feeling inside. So yeah. I'm excited to try these, mate. Talk us through what you've got then. What we've got on the menu. It's not just your ordinary taco. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a wood taco. So mm -hmm. we're doing some different things. Everything's made to order. We've imported some special ingredients. This idea was probably born with this little bad boy here. This is okay. devil's tongue hot sauce. Yeah. Um, and you which, made, you've made this yourself, uh, haven't ev ev you? Everything yeah, yeah. is made. We even make the salts for the tequilas. Yeah. We've got some lime salt. We've got orange salt to go with the mezcal. You know, the guac's made from scratch. And this is pico de gallo. And it's, it's, it's like our signature salsa that goes on yeah, there. Yeah. I mean, if you just take a look at that, you can see- Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. The work and the detail yeah. that's just gone in there. We're not, we're not opening packets and no, then no. putting things on tacos. We're, we're putting a lot of love into it. We've got some fermentation. You know, these chilies, uh, they're my take on, you know, that green chili? Yeah, yeah, that you shouldn't have away, at yeah. two in the morning yeah, yeah, yeah. that we all love and miss so much <laughs> from the kebab shop. Well, this is my take on that. You, know, you get one with each taco, you get one then with you, each taco. You get taco, one on yeah? your plate there, okay, yeah. So yeah, yeah. It's, it's like chili roulette, some are, some are hot, oh, some are not. Oh, you great. just wait and see. <laughs> you know, ev everything just works together really well. It's a, it's a well thought out yeah. concept that yeah. should be, you know, good one month only, it should be good fun. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, excited, mate. Okay, so it's outside wood, we are. outside tables. I believe First Street are going to be putting some more out here. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. The, the, you know, the team, the, the estate management team, are going to be putting out some communal tables. Yeah, yeah. So that we can, you know, we can really get busy and, and fill the estate safely, yeah, yeah. obviously. But you know, you can see the little shack that we've got yeah, behind yeah. there. That means that you can get a drink and a taco to go, right, okay. um, served in disposable packaging. That you can go and sit anywhere on the estate then. Yeah. If, if the tables that we've got here are full, yeah. um, we're going to have 20 tables outside. Oh, right, okay. So, yeah, so we, you know, we're, we're, we're going for it. We're going to have a marquee, um, which is 12 by 5 meters. You know, there'll be shelter, it'll be, it'll be nice and warm. So, no matter what the Manchester weather throws at us, it's still taco time. You can still time. get taco time. We can. Awesome. You still bring that sunshine even when it's raining. Yep. Yeah, awesome. indoor sunshine. Yeah. Okay, here they are. So these are the chicken ones, yeah? Yeah, these are the corn-fed pulled chicken. Wow. And uh, we've got our Sigma, my signature, devil's tongue hot sauce. Let's talk about the food, because I'm yeah, really yeah. proud of it. So we've got some shredded gem, mm -hmm. all done by hand, fresh. We've got the devil's tongue hot sauce, Aleppo chili. We've got the holy guacamole. Yeah. And, you know, really high welfare corn-fed pulled chicken thighs. Yeah, yeah. It's really tender, really juicy. Now, chicken thighs are the best. They're just yeah, so yeah. juicy, it aren't takes, they? It takes a lot of, you know, a lot of flavour and yeah, it yeah. carries a lot as well. It's much more, you know, enjoyable to eat, I think, than yeah. any other parts of the bird. So, I agree. Uh, should we right then, should we dive in? Okay. Should we do a, a taco cheers? Cheers. cheers. Okay. Mmm, that chicken. That hot, now, yeah, that, that hot sauce is coming through it's now. It's like hot, sweet. Mm. And it gets to that point where it doesn't go. Yeah, it's not too much. Past it, yeah. so that your face starts going numb. <laughs> Some people might like, and I've got to be honest, this might do that. I'm going to try that after <laughs> eating this because I think that'll blow my head off. Which one was this one again? The, um, the mescalita. Right, mescalita. Mm. Wow, that is strong. <laughs> that is strong. That's because Mike's making them. <laughs> <laughs> so what's so in this got, one then? We got mezcal, which is a, a smoky, a smoky spirit. Yep. Um, we got the agave syrup, mm -hmm. lime. Yep. And this is the Aleppo uh, chili that we've got oh, yeah, yeah, throughout yeah. the menu. Okay. But I've made it into a salt, just to give you that little tingle yeah, yeah. through the drink. But it is. You know, should, it, should it maybe swig it rather than through the straw? Yeah, think? you yeah. can do. It depends. Like the, the first sip that you get. Mm -hmm. I mean, what will happen now? I know how Mike makes his drinks. That, okay. That will, won't be overshaken, so you'll get that big strong hit. Right. And then as the ice starts to melt, melt a in bit. the sunny climate of Manchester, 
your drink will, will mix in nicely and you'll be sat, you have okay. that good hit and you're away. Okay. But then you start to take your time and we're enjoying yeah, yeah, it then yeah. and getting in with the More tacos, tacos more yeah. drinks. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so I'm trying. Mmm. That's really nice with the, with the salt. The salt really balances it off. It really does. Rather than just having it through the straw. Mm. Yeah, no, I like that. So we're going to try some of this uh, fermented chilli, yeah? yeah? You've done it yourself, Simon. Yeah, yeah, we do all our fermented yeah. chilli yeah. And I cannot handle heat yeah. very well. Like, that. that's burning my lips a little bit, mm -hmm. so. I've got to be honest, I've had a couple of these and it is chilli roulette. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So, Fingers like crossed it doesn't blow my head off. Okay. Mmm. Not so bad. Wait a minute. Yep. <laughs> it's coming. Oh, it's really hot. <sighs> <laughs> Where did you get all the inspiration for all the uh, ingredients and flavours from, then, Simon? It's just, just what I think is good. It's what yeah. I like to eat on a taco. Right? Yeah. You know, the process and everything is, is naturally there because it's what we do day in, day out at yeah, the yeah. restaurant anyway. But, you know, for the, for the tacos, it's just like, what, what can we do that, that's good? What's interesting? What do we yeah, enjoy? Yeah. Um, and this is, this is what we got to, you know. Mm -mm -mm. Here we go. Thank you, Simon. Amazing. Wow. Thank you very much. They look phenomenal. So, what we've got mm -hmm. now. Talk me through it, mate. Classic margarita. I've got my small beer. Yes. Cheers. Cheers, yeah. Here's to pre uh, after lockdown. Lockdown easing. Let's get pissed. <laughs> and then, okay, mm. so we've got mm. our vegan, vegetarian, smoked oyster mushroom taco. Okay, yep. And then we've got our Aleppo codfish mm -hmm. taco. Uh, both of these are served with my bonnie pepper and lime sauce. Uh -huh. It's quite a acidic fragrant heat that okay. comes with it and then yeah. we've got the, the pico de gallo uh, the holy guacamole and this has got this little stroke of genius yep. which is the very best bit of a cheese toast it it's just pure heaven i had a bit before inside yeah. just a spoonful of it and it's just oh my it's goodness just indulgent yeah you could have it as cereal yeah you could couldn't you maybe not with <coughs> beer or tequila but <laughs> you never know <laughs> why not somewhere. shall we go in yeah let's uh, go uh, i'm gonna i want to try the cod first yeah Going. Let's let's do it. These soft shell tacos are just beautiful. Okay. Mmm. That fish is so tender and flaky. Mmm. Really delicately cooked. Mm. So it just falls apart. You don't get that overcooked. No. Definitely not. Of it. No. And the sauce as well. Mm. That lime sauce can, pops through after a few few chews. Mm. Start to come but through. It doesn't overpower everything. No, not at all. Getting everything on, yeah. the, on the taco. It's good. That fish is stunning. Good thing about the sauce is, like you say, it doesn't pack a punch. It's just nice and easy. It just gets, like you say, it gets to a certain level, and then that's it, really. And then you're ready for yeah. your next bite. Yeah, you know it's there. Yeah. Okay. It leaves you wanting a bit more, not mm. wanting to run away from mm -hmm. it. it. Makes you run towards it. I'm excited to try the mushrooms. With these being smoked over apple wood, mm -hmm. um, I, I can't wait to try them. So I've got a sneaky feeling this might end up being my favourite. You reckon? Mm -hmm. Why is that then? Just because of it? I just know the, the, I know the work that's gone into it. Yeah. I love a mushroom. Um, I think they're just uh, they're an amazing product. These yeah. these, are, these are a good product. So yeah. A nice wild wild mushroom banging season. You know, we've there's been a lot of love and care put into them. That is a packed taco. I love it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's try it. That barbecue. The smoky like, flavour. This yeah. is what I'm excited about. You could be eating a steak cooked over a coal. Yeah. And it's phenomenal. Right, you can see that, that smoky flavour coming through just off a mushroom. Mm. Wow. Amazing. Now, Simon, I just wanted to know are you ready for my joke? Are you ready? I think you're ready. Okay. What do you call a Mexican carpet fitter? I think I know the answer. Do you? But you go for it. Go Thank on. You. Underlay, underlay. I brought my sombrero. 
<laughs> Is that a good one? You like that one too? You know, I heard that one. Yeah, that wasn't terrible stuff. Thank you. Right, Ed, Tim, you're not getting away with it. Come on. <laughs> How much did you buy up? I had two, I had two, didn't I? Two. Yeah, sit down. Come here. All right, here we go. How much, did, how much did you buy? I had, I had a big chunk. <laughs> Not too bad, is it? Remember the chili roulette comment. <laughs> yeah? It's hot. It is hot, isn't it? It <laughs> is hot. hot. It it's is not hot. Too, it's not too bad. But it does hit you. It's certainly hot still enough. Still breathe. That's yes. Bonus. I always find that's a bonus with gas. Yes. It's certainly hot enough. It's creeping. It's amazing. Love it. So Simon, like all amazing tacos, absolutely fantastic, um, and they're, they're probably some of the best tacos I've ever had. And just because of how much effort you and the guys have put into it, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. You can taste it in every bite that you're getting. Um, but for me, the favourite out of the three, it's going to be an odd one. But I'm going to go for the mushroom. Yeah. I really am because it yeah, goes to show, doesn't it? It With does. A bit of love and care and yeah. attention and process what you can get out of something. Yeah, exactly. And then the thing is as well, it's like I wouldn't have expected to get that flavour or texture from a mushroom. You'd think what you were eating, you were eating meat. Yeah. You really would. And yeah, it was amazing, mate. I'm, I'm very impressed with that. But all of them fantastic. So. What's your favourite sauce? Bonny pepper and lime or devil's tongue? I'm probably going to go. Oh, it's a hard one. I'm probably going to go with the devil's tongue. Yeah, yeah. Okay. and I'm tongue. yeah, it's my and I think I can, I've taken a little bottle, so I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna make something with that when yeah. I get home. So get it yeah, it's been, in the morning, hundred, I'm gonna make some scrambled eggs, that on top, and I might even smoke some of that pig cheek, like I said, yeah. and, and get some of that going. But so you are opening from the 12th, and right. it's for one month only. Yeah, one yeah? month only, and then we're back to tasty menu only after that. Okay. Um, so yeah, open from the 12th. We'll have cover. We've got tacos, tequila, different beers. Mm -hmm. We'll have some nice music. Uh, that's, that's pretty much yeah. it. No bookings, just turn up. Just turn up, get uh, your taco on. We have on. a lot of space on our terrace under our marquee. The estate will have communal tables and you can order from the shack by QR code, yeah. contact list. Fantastic. And just come sit wherever you like. Roll on the 12th then. So Simon, thank you very much for having us down, mate. It's been an absolute pleasure and it's been a pleasure to meet you too because I've not met you before. No, so pleasure. Great. Thank, thank you, you for having much. us down, mate. Cheers, mate. Well, there we have it. Scram Review. It's back. And what an episode that has been down here at Woods trying their tacos probably some of the best tacos I've ever had. So, this series is dedicated to bringing you the best eateries around Manchester. So if you know of any, make sure you drop in the comments below and let us know. See you next time. <laughs>